Israel's economy has been savaged by the coronavirus pandemic. One in five Israelis is out of work long term. The economy has contracted by 6%. Those are the numbers only if everything trends for the best, and the finance ministry says it will take five years to recover. The ministry released several economic forecasts that paint a grim picture of Israel's future. Should the pandemic stay under control from here out, a dubious proposition giving Israel's second wave, then the economy could slow its crash by the end of the year. One in ten Israelis would still be unemployed, and the economy would still shrink by 5.7 percent, representing a $20 billion loss. But should things spiral out of control and the government reimpose lockdowns, by the end of the year, more than one in seven Israelis will still be jobless. The economy would suffer a loss of $25 billion and another $8 billion the next year. We need to understand that this is serious, not just for health, but also for the economy. We cannot continue as we have been. The status quo is an attack on the economy and is leading to great hardship for people and businesses. We need to turn people to their livelihoods. Mass protests have sprung up in response to financial woes. Economic recovery and investment have been stifled by lockdown uncertainty. Until late July, Israel had no one figure in charge of crisis response. And new orders and threats of shutdown issued by the emergency coronavirus cabinet and prime minister every few days. Many people say they have been abandoned by their leaders. Let's stick to the restrictions and stay open. Where have you been? Why did you forget us? There's a list in the news about which industries have have been hit and we aren't even mentioned. So where does Israel stand now economically? Over a million Israelis have started receiving government stipends that would eventually see about two billion dollars disbursed to citizens. Last week, Parliament approved extending unemployment benefits to small businesses and self-employed after less than half of the original 29 billion dollar aid package was released. Over 50 percent of Israelis don't know if they can cover their monthly expenses, and the new numbers do not paint a good picture of the nation's economic future.